Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 12th to the 19th. Now, this is going to be a very intense week, so that's the reality of it. So buckle up. So what do we got? What do we have for Capricorn for the week of October 12th through the 19th? Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. October 12th through the 19th. The new moon is on the 16th. So this will cover your new moon energy. The 16th is a Friday. So what do we have for Capricorn? What I just heard was cleaning house. So you, some of you may be cleaning your house. You know, and I don't know how that you could that you can use that in any type of metaphorical way that you want. But I just heard cleaning house, cleaning house. All right. Dog, close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Well, that sounds good. Horse, short journey. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. That sounds even better. So this is about an emotionally secure, loving family that is important to you. Something about the nest, the home. That's your, that's a, a nest is a house. So something about your home, your home is going to be affected. You know, what's in the nest? Eggs. What are eggs? Children. So, but it's about stability and security. It's very important to you to protect your nest. So you're going to be, you're going to be protecting your nest. And that could be, you know, when you have a clean house, it's a hell of a lot safer. Now, and cleaning house can be cleaning out your social media. You don't need to have people on there that don't support you. That's not safe. You know, so I'm not sure how that is, but you think of cleaning house in whatever way, in every way that you can, put it that way. Okay? It's about protecting your family. It's about protecting your children, protecting your energy, protecting their energy. Okay? You don't, you don't need to have people around you that aren't in integrity, that are uh, drug dealers or druggies or anything, you know, that is, that can affect your security. Horse, short journey, you're going to be taking a journey. Pleasure with a close friend. So, yeah. So, whatever's happening, you're going to, it's probably, it, it appear, it's going to be intense. I know that it's going to be intense because of all the planetary aspects that are happening. Uh, yeah, let's get some cards short journey you're going to be going somewhere maybe it's to have fun with this close friend or this close friend is coming towards you um oh here we go ah two of wands now this is being at a crossroads needing to make a choice needing to make a decision what do you want to do so you're going to be put in this position today where there's something uh in front of you and you have to choose which direction you're going to go. Do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? Do you want to go this way? Do you want to go that way? Do you want to go back? Do you want to go forward? Um, this is being at the crossroads, needing to make a spur of the moment decision right now. Okay. You're in this predicament. You've got to make a decision right now. So that's something that is going to happen this week. King of Cups could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. This could be somebody that is very feeling, very intuitive, very loving, very gentle, very kind, has really good intentions, male or female. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. They may be making an offer to you. Um, inviting you somewhere. Could go vice versa. This reading can always be for the cross watcher. But this is a very feeling individual that has good intentions by the looks of things. 
definitely is going to be expressing some feelings. It's going to put you on guard. You're going to be like, oh, what do I do now? Um, could be any sign. Whoever this person is, they're looking for a relationship or they're looking for love. Okay, they may just be looking for love. And love doesn't, sometimes people, you know, uh, you know, are looking for just, you know, the one night stand type of thing. Um, night of one night stand type of thing. Okay, so I think that you need to definitely be aware. Okay, somebody may not be looking for a full full on relationship. Um, now, if you aren't married, Say you're married and you're watching this. Knight of Cups reversed. The the Knight of Cups reversed is letting letting unrealistic. Somebody letting themselves go. This is a love rival of some sort, um, and you have to make a choice. You may have to make a choice between two people if you're married or in your relationship. You're you know somebody's your fiance. You know, say say you got a fiance and you got this other option. There there appears to be two choices here. Okay, this is two choices. Okay, you can choose to uh, not go down this road <laughs> or go down this road. I feel like for some of you, you're dealing definitely dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But um, now this is canceling canceling like canceling the or withdrawing an invitation or not looking for a relationship uh somebody could be in an unrequited love situation as well they may be in a relationship with somebody they're not in love with and there's another opportunity here okay somebody crosses your path all of a sudden it's definitely sudden it's like this deer and the deer that walks into your path, okay? And shit, what do you do? That's exactly what we have here. Um, it looks like it's a buck. So if you are a female, um, <laughs> well, anyhow, um, looking for a doe by the looks of things. But anyhow, let's get back to business. And it's interesting. Pleasure with a close friend. So, um, I don't think it will go anywhere if you are if whoever whether you're married or not because a lot of people do this stupid shit but um i don't think this relationship is gonna go anywhere just saying i feel like this is a one night stand type of situation where somebody is looking you know to uh have a little bit of pleasure and that's about it let's change the story okay so death the lovers <laughs> yeah I think that you absolutely need to be careful this week, okay? I feel like there's some sort of uh, sexual desire here that needs to be met. I feel like you may be propositioned. You may be pro propositioned by somebody. Somebody may catch your eye. You know, they step into your your view and it's it's attractive. It's very, very attractive. And I think that you could get yourself in trouble by going down that road. Just saying. Just being honest. Um, anyhow, there's an unexpected choice in love here this week, okay? This is an unexpected choice in love, and it's very spur of the moment, okay? You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make it, like, right now, very, very soon, very quick. Um, but the thing is, is making this decision is definitely a decision of between two, okay? This decision, and this could have to do with your partner as well. If this isn't you... It could be your partner that is making a choice, making a decision. Somebody has a new lover that has entered the picture. Okay? They have a new interest, a new love interest, whether it's you or them. Okay? And somebody is going to have to make a choice. Okay? This is an ending. This is a separation. Okay? This is a separation. It's a loss. Okay? So there's there's about this is about following your heart. You're going to have to follow your heart. You're going to have to follow your intuition here. Um, the Knight of Cups reversed is a flirt, okay? This is a one-night stand. This is cheating, okay? So be careful for cheating. You don't want to get yourself involved with somebody. It's interesting that I mentioned a fiancé or mentioned, you know, that it, and people do that shit all the time. You want to be careful because I feel like if you do, you will get caught. 
Um, there is an unexpected choice in love here. This is a soulmate connection of some sort. Doesn't mean it's going to last forever. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Soulmates come into our lives to teach us a lesson. Okay, a lesson that we must learn. Anyhow, this week you are going to be presented with an unexpected choice. Okay, um... I feel like this is serendipity. I feel like you run into somebody and it's like, it's, you can't stop the, I don't know, it's like pheromones, the attraction. The, it's like a magnetic attraction kind of thing. Um, oh, and there is, there definitely is too. Somebody's going to get angry very upset no staying power i think you need to choose very 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 wisely you're going to be making a choice this week i think for some of you you some of you are in a relationship right now that you're not happy in it's over it's over emotionally you know what i mean but you're in it anyway you're in it for i don't know what reason but there's a new lover that is entering the scene. So there is somebody coming in that does have good intentions that, you know, is very feeling, very intuitive that is that's going to be flirting with you. You're going to, somebody is going to flirt with you. And I feel like uh, this comes, and you know, it's funny. It's not funny, but it may come after a loss because, I mean, this is a loss. It is. The death, death is a loss. It's a profound change. It is a loss. It's a separation. It's losing something. This loss, and I don't know if it's a father um, or a husband or um, could be a sibling. This king of one could be a boss. And I, and I don't know if you go to a funeral. And I don't know if there is a funeral or not. But I'm, I'm not sure. I don't see a funeral. But there, well, I mentioned it. But anyhow, this king of wands in reverse is angry. Okay. Or not communicating. There's a loss of uh, composure here as well. I don't think you're going to be able to compose yourself. Um, now, this is a loss. This person is unreasonable, self-centered, no energy, uh, no desire, no drive, no stamina. You, Somebody may be in a situation with somebody that doesn't have any sex drive I hate to I don't know why we're talking about this but it's here it's here interesting no sexual attraction maybe very interesting anyway death is the end it's the end of uh, holding on to something this is letting go it is. It's letting go of of control. This is like out of your control. Okay? You can't control the the feelings. You're not going to be able to control yourself. Somebody is coming in. Somebody is coming in. It's like they're coming it's they come out of nowhere and it feels like they're coming you're not looking for a relationship. So you're not even looking for this person, right? You're not looking. You're, all of a sudden, it's like that deer, like I said, that deer that steps out from the freaking forest into the road in front of you. And it's like, where the hell did you come from? That's what this is. So somebody's going to step into your path that uh, you did not expect. And you have, to, you have no choice but to stop. You have no choice to acknowledge them. You have no choice but to sit there in awe, you know. You're going to be in awe by whoever this freaking person is. Um, but it's interesting because that death card is a loss. So that's interesting, you know. It's like there's, it's a loss of some... It's weird because it feels like it comes after a loss. You've lost something and this person comes to... I don't know. For some, Why does this person come... karmic this is karmic contract this is a karmic contract of some sort <laughs> interesting this is a karmic contract well that's fun that is real fun oh my god this is about uh <laughs> oh 
moving on from a bad choice of some sort, answering the higher call, needing to answer, they hear the call. It's like they they have to come fulfill this karmic contract. That sucks. Anyhow, uh, judgment reversed, lack of awareness, reconciliation, a need to forgive, to help somebody move on from a bad choice. Some, if this is a karmic contract, this is like a catalyst. This person is coming in to help somebody move on from a bad choice that they had made. Unbelievable. Somebody's, this is where the short, short journey is. Somebody is coming. This is like, they're coming. I know that they are. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Anyhow, um, <laughs> this is like two people coming together. This is somebody that you knew in the past. We do have a new beginning here with somebody that is emotionally available that is looking for a relationship even though you're not looking for one. If you are married right now and you are watching this and you are happily married, I suggest you stop watching tarot readings. I'm serious. I mean, I don't know. If you're happily married, um, you're still probably going to have a choice. Okay, that is a choice. That is somebody that shows up on your path and you are in awe. Okay, you you're an odd now, you know, it's literally this this is a buck, okay? It's a buck. It's somebody that it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is somebody that you are you're gonna be in awe. You are absolutely gonna be uh you have no choice but to uh acknowledge it, put it that way. This is strong, it's a very strong uh pull. This Knight of Cups reverse. This is definitely it's a love rival. There could be a broken engagement that is coming as well. Somebody may be breaking up an enga engagement. I hate to say that, but that could be the case if it's not truthful, if it's not honest. You know, if you're in it for the wrong reasons, there is a new opportunity for love here with somebody that you know you are aligned with this is like a higher power bringing you two people to get bringing two people together at this time because it's meant to be but this comes after making a choice to let something go and it's probably a fire sign aries leo sagittarius i could be wrong could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio um Somebody is moving on from a bad choice and uniting, deepening a bond with somebody that they are meant to be with. Um, so there could be a broken, a broken uh, promise here with that Knight of Cups reversed. Um, this is unwanted attention. It's like you're not even looking for it. You're not looking for it, but you're getting it. And I think that you're going to be very tempted. You're going to be very tempted to go down that path because it's so uh, alluring, put it that way. Um, Capricorn, I think that you're going to have a hard time. I think it's going to be a tough week. I do. I think it's going to be a tough week of, of uh, doing the noble thing because the Knight of Swords, I mean the Knight of Wands is about doing the noble thing this 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 knight of wands is reversed okay um you may feel like this is unrealistic like like, like i can't believe this is happening happening and i truly believe that you're going to feel like this is you know, this is disbelief it is disbelief i think think that um you're going to need some advice. I think that with that judgment reverse, you may need some advice. I feel like you have a karmic, maybe you are in a karmic contract or you were in a karmic contract before and this person has come into your life to help you break that, uh, that karmic contract. Now, this is a healing love. Okay, this is healing a karmic contract so you know whatever is going on here you are going to go through a period of healing but it's after a separation there is deepening a bond here with somebody that uh, you have a soulmate connection with and that's what i see i feel like this person just uh, came out of nowhere i mean literally nowhere um <sighs> We do have a new beginning because endings lead to new beginnings. 
there's a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. It's a beautiful new beginning as well. Six of Pentacles reverse. Now one-sidedness. Somebody is in a unrequited love situation right now where there's lack of reciprocation. Or they were in the past because this is the past. But now there's an opportunity, but you have to choose. You have to make a choice. You can't have both. You can't go both ways. You have to choose between the two, and that is the truth. You gotta choose between the two. Do you are you going to move forward or are you going to stay where you've been? So this week you're gonna be making a very big choice. Okay? My advice is to follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. The past is dead. Don't go back to the past. You may be dealing with somebody from your past that is unreasonable, conceited, greedy, selfish, uh, controlling, uh, unreasonable. You're dealing with somebody in the past that is unreasonable. That's over. Let it go. You can't go back to the past. Maybe it's about this is about getting in a new commitment. This is never looking back at the past. You're going to have to make a choice. Maybe you have to choose between the past and the future. Maybe the past comes back and asks for forgiveness or asks for your help and you have to say no. We do definitely have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. This is a broken marriage. Lack of commitment. You may be under a lot of social pressure. Somebody may be controlled by a father figure. We definitely have a father figure here because I mentioned it before. So there's, there's something to do with a father here that may have impacted your decisions. I think somebody has received some poor counsel. They haven't been listening to their gut. They've been under social pressure, pressure to look a certain way. But now, but now it's like coming to terms with it's not about looks, it's about happiness, it's about love. There's, there's some sort of disgrace here as well when you get the hero font reversed. Somebody may be embarrassed. They may be disgraced. There could be something that happens this week that is embarrassing. Okay. But everything does happen for a reason. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. And I feel like it's time for you to accept it and let it go. You have a new opportunity for love here that can uh, make you extremely happy. But you have to choose to focus on the future and not the past. I do, I, I feel like there's going to be a split as well, a separation for some of you. Some of you are going to, are going to, um, withdraw an invitation it's like withdraw it's like a broken engagement somebody may say you know I'm, I'm sorry but I can't marry you or you're not the one or could be you could be the other person either way this is karma it's going to be a very karmic week for you and this is I mean this is judgment reverse is not the best karma okay it's not okay so it's going to be a very karmic week this is a loss Okay, it is a loss. It's unfair. You may be saying those words. This isn't fair, you know, or, or, or your partner may be. This isn't fair. The six of pentacles reversed. This could be uh, getting fired. Somebody has abused their power. This is an injustice. There's, um, you need to be careful because somebody may ha have some strings attached. You know, they may be wanting to... Uh, give you something but with strings attached you know they may not want 
any strings attached as well. Somebody may be just looking for sex, no strings attached, and you may be looking for more. I mean, this could go all day long. I feel like you need to be very, very careful this week. You are going to be passing a test or not. You are going to be tested. Your integrity is going to be tested. And I know that you guys have a lot of integrity. I know that you do. You're an earth sign. And I just, I, I typically, you're very stable and solid and secure. But we're also human. So I feel, and we all have lessons to learn in this lifetime. And this is about a karmic lesson that needs to be learned about who you give to, you know. Um, who you give your love to. Okay, this is about who you give your love to. I have to tell you that you are unaware that somebody is about to test you. They are about to test you. And I think that you're going to need to really listen to your intuition. You can't have it both ways. And that is the main message. You have to choose between one or the other. If you choose the new opportunity, you have to let the other one know it's over. Good luck. Otherwise, karma will bite you in the ass.